okay so tell me why air arabia like you you know being an indian you could have applied for indigo and you know or maybe air india like why you want to come to air arabia uh, i feel like air arabia opens like a lot of opportunity for me as in i mean even if the smallest flight from air arabia like from sharjah i take i will at least pass by three or four international continents giving me more exposure and more of experience to like learn and grow and everything so what is the difference between mpl and cpl mpl is a multi crew pilot license cpl is a commercial pilot license in mpl it's like more of a simulator based in cpl you get on the aircraft in mpl it's more of airline based well cpl you can go for any airline after your type rating in mpl you barely get your solo flying in cpl you get a lot of okay how many aircraft does air arabia have around like around 80 okay what is their expansion plan they've ordered 120 more aircraft 73 of 320 neo 27 of 321 neo and 20 321 xlr have you read the air arabia website well yeah okay and who is the ceo of air arabia abdullah ali okay coo the it's not mentioned which are the other designation mentioned on the website i just read the founder and the ceo it's the same okay CEO wasn't mentioned. Okay. Air Arabia training is really very strict. Are you aware of it? I'm fine with it. What are the neighboring countries of you know UAE? Oman and Saudi Arabia. Okay. Have you been there already? I mean to Dubai or something. Yeah, yeah, Dubai. Yeah. So let's say your fuel consumption is two thousand kg per hour. How much you're gonna burn in forty five minutes? Fifteen hundred. How much is gonna be? Twenty percent of seven fifty. When to take? You're going from Delhi to Dubai. Which direction it is? Southwest. Really bad at geography. Okay, so what is your answer? The northwest. Northwest. You know what is happening with Donald Trump in U.S. right now? Any idea? Have you cleared your DGC? Okay, you know. Okay, I'm asking. Have you prepared for DGC exams as well? They don't require. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what is stall? Stall is when the angle of attack is more than like like fifteen to twenty percent. What is angle of attack? Angle of attack is the angle between the relative airflow and the longitudinal axis of the aircraft. No, cord line of the aircraft. Ha, relative flow and the cord line of the aircraft. Are you sure? Cord line and the longitude. I don't think it's confusing me. Okay. What are the advantage of piston engine over jet engines? They don't know this. Can you tell me how many continents are there in the world? Seven. What is the capital of Lithuania? They don't. I don't know. They can. Sir said there will be no geography questions in Air Arabia. No, it's not about geography. Okay. What do you know about Air Arabia Academy? I mean, do, what all do you know about Air Arabia? I mean, there will be ground classes. If when I join, then I'll have my classes on like simulators and all. Which is the latest air crash investigation you have seen? The Mangalore one. The Mangalore one. I don't know why everyone is watching that all. Because sir told us to watch. Which are the engine manufacturers for Airbus? P and W. What type of engine does Air Arabia have? What type of aircraft Air Arabia have? A three twenties and a few of A three twenty one. And are they COs or NEOs? A three twenty is CO and A three twenty one is NEO. Okay, there is no A three twenty NEOs in Air Arabia. A three twenty NEO. Not yet. Okay. What do you think? What is the importance of mental resilience for pilots? Is it important or not, or how much it is important? It is because what, like, an in emergency, what if the pilot gets those, or what if the pilot itself freaks out? What will happen to the passengers? So it's really important for pa- pilot to like remain calm and to be mentally stable as well. Because if his his mind is somewhere else, the plane will go somewhere else. No, mental resilience is is a very broader term. As in mental resilience is like you know a person who is fairly re- resilient enough, you know, very uh, in terms of mental, like who can handle the pressures, who can handle the ups and downs for a longer period of time. Yeah, the pilots, like pilots, should have a, a like high mental resilience because exactly like what if the can you give me any tips and tricks to handle in flight emergency? Let's say you got an emergency, what will be the tips and tricks to handle it? First of all, stay calm and make sure my co-pilot is also calm. I'll make sure all the like everything is working, like there's no damage to the aircraft or anything. Then I will talk to my co-pilot or the ATC and try to navigate the airplane. If 
like needed maybe land it to the nearest airport if something like that happens fine how do you calm yourself how do you manage the stress i listen to music if there's something like a lot going on or if there's something troubling me or i talk to someone i trust like my family my parents or maybe some friend if needed yeah what are the qualities required to be an alien pilot what do you think awareness okay for you which is the most important skill required to be able to work under pressure and maybe a bit flexible with the schedules what do you think what is more important an aviation technical knowledge or a situation awareness which is more important both both are equally important how did your stage 1 went in the selection process how was it i mean in air, you've reached the interview right yeah 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 how was your stage 1 It was pretty well. I faced a bit of problem in flying maybe and the coordination game but I think rest all went fine. Can you tell me how does an aeroplane fly? First of all, it flies due to lift. I mean the force force four forces that act on it but basically the lift and the thrust it flies because of that and the Bernoulli principle helps in lift. And what is that Bernoulli's theorem? It's like velocity is inversely proportional to pressure. Is that the Bernoulli theorem? It is also, but it is also that at a, the all the pressures are constant at a all the pressure. So energies, kinetic energy, potential energy, and pressure energy, they are all constant. They are individually constant altogether. Okay, fine. All right, Prisha. So your interview is over. So I have a suggestion for you, a recommendation. Okay, first I'll tell you the good things. Okay. all the way you were smiling okay so this is a good part okay and when we smile we becomes very comfortable in the interview all right even i keep telling people please smile smile i mean smile so that you become slightly calmer all right so do a conscious effort to smile even if you if you don't feel like smiling in your case it is naturally it is coming okay so and i think you have a more uh conversations are good in a way it was not i was not feeling initially that you were giving an interview all right so this is a good thing all right so conversational based interviews are better uh, like if i engage the ga- interview absolutely okay it should not be a monotonous kind of interviews like you ask question and and then you answer it you know it shouldn't look like a robotic i was asking questions as well yeah so you know i mean it shows more of confidence like okay so i think at this point of time i should read my cv yeah cv you know i should read my cv yeah so this is something which i want that uh, you have three pages of cv you sh- ठीक है आई मीन इफ ट्राई टू मेक इट इन अंडर टू पेजेस बट आई ऑलरेडी सेंट इट दैट्स ओके आई कैन चेंज इट या दैट दैट कैन बी चेंज्ड ओके यू कैन ऑलवेज टेल देम लाइक यू नो सम स्लाइट चेंजेस टू मेक इट अंडर द अंडर टू पेजेस ओनली एंड दैट द रेड क्रॉस थिंग इज इट बैड और व्हाट आई मेंशनड इट दैट्स ओके दैट्स ओके देयर इज देयर इज नथिंग बैड हाउएवर द आंसर टू दैट you know i mean the healing the passengers was wrong i said that i won't but then you were like if it's a minor thing and if it's cruising normal cruising so i intentionally give that situation that during cruise or whatever it is pilot are not supposed to go to the cabin okay cabin crews are trained for it already they undergo this training now imagine you know you went to the cabin and the first officer something happened to first officer during that time when i said that it's a doctor's thing not a pilot's thing that was fine i mean cabin crews are trained enough for this i am not supposed to go out of the cockpit for this reason okay that's risky then you should uh, know like what are the engines of the air arabia aircraft and and its manufacturers all right and i don't know somehow i felt like were you nervous very very nervous but at the same time this is the first time i was also confused in interview whether you were nervous or you were casual because uh, uh, throughout the way like you were smiling that that was a good thing only but uh, you were smiling just because you know some people like keep on smiling that's me it's very unconscious to me okay so out of this i mean i didn't feel that actually you are nervous very okay fine then it's fine all right rest everything was fine okay i had a question you just asked the technical stuff but 
the air arabia they sent us the red. okay i see i mean i was not no technical knowledge i was like te- testing how do you deal with it even if it is asked and the geography part also will is, should i to- like that's okay that's okay i mean in a way ki it's like uh, i mean they they are generally not asking this okay mantle was was fine maths was fine yeah thank you so as you can see conversation was good you know it was not looking like a interview it was like a conversation i have recommended her to make cv if possible in one page but her cv was slightly longer it was going to third page so i've strongly suggested to cover your cv in two pages only however it is the best if you can cover your cv in single page you can be asked like uh, the questions based uh, from your skills mentioned in your cv so please go through your cv well and prepare your cv uh, you know thoroughly and you should know what all is mentioned in your cv because most of the hr based questions will be asked from your cv then uh, you should know like which are the engine manufacturers of the airline in which you have applied for so that's it and see you i hope that you must have learned from this interview let's do the another interview now